Folks, we did it. We hopped on Illustrials and with the worst deck possible. Let me tell you a little tale about my 0-4 run in the casual tournament this week. Let me tell you the tale of gambling that never paid off and cows that have forsaken me. This is Cows Turbo. For those of you who are unaware, Cows Turbo involves using Soul Bell to get insane foretells off of your Apollo and to quick ascend into soul stocks for a big body that can do things that's the intention the actual how should i say results were very different instead what you get is a very bricky mess using only the worst possible combination solar when it could be playing a good deck like i don't know cypromal anyway let's get down to it for this deck, of course, we have to run three Soul Bell through the Baby Cow. He's a 1-4. When you foretell through Apollo, you get two extra foretell, and then you get to foretell five. And if you foretell into a Soul Stock, you get to Quick Ascend. What is Soul Stock, you might ask? Well, he's a 2. He's a 4-7. When he is special cast, you can enchant two solar from your bin onto anywhere on your field. You can disenchant a solar from your Apollo to pop a card. Very strong effect. The problem is he's a two cost that does not immediately impact the board, and he needs an Apollo to be out there. To find said Apollo, of course, you're running three plucky. Normally, we would run Elichick because it's better, but we want to keep our sun count high because we need to be getting those Apollos pumped out. Next, we're going to be running a Triple package of Lumaru, the best card in the deck. Why? Because he's got a five attack stat. The rest of it does not matter. For our Nexusers, we are running two Dratora. You can Nexus to uh, gain some health back. This is a very powerful effect because you're going to find yourself pretty far behind most of this game with this deck. Our other Nexuser is going to be a single Exaltus. Uh, you can Nexus up to two solar to search for any uh, Angel, I think it's called, Elastral. Then for our receivers, we have a single P Gleam who sets something to zero when it receives, and a Corvishine who lets you foretell, who lets you draw a card and then put a card back, and He's very blue. You might notice a trend with all of these solar Elestrals. And that's that most of their stats, with the exception of Lumeru, kind of suck. A lot of fours, a lot of twos. A lot of the uh, high defense counts. This is an issue with this deck. You're going to play a guy, you got to hope it survives, but your opponents can play something with a five stat and you just can't deal with it. For a final solar Elestral, we're playing two Lustragon because this is actually a good card. Next is up to three. When it receives... One or more in a Nexus, you can target and destroy a card. Pretty strong, very good stats. The best card in this deck, except for Lumaru, and what you should be building your solar towards. Finally, for Elestrals, we have three Astrabbit because he's Elestrals. This is this game was designed to make him feel good. Moving on to our Divine Rune, we are just running two Apollo. You don't really need three because with Plucky, you have five copies, and a sixth copy is kind of redundant at some point. You don't want to be having multiple Apollos in hand when you could be drawing good cards like Lumaru's or Back Row or Invoke Runes. Speaking of Invoke Runes, Triple First Light. This card's bad but mandatory in Cows because if you have a Soul Bell and an Apollo, you need this to stack your deck to make sure there's a Soul Stocks on there. If you just try to raw foretell with an Apollo and a Soul Bell on your field, you are not going to to see the soul stocks that's just how these things work unless you're uh incredibly lucky then of course we have triple ambrosia because it's elestrals this doesn't just read heal yourself it reads give yourself three extra mana it's a functionally dark ritual and a heal spell and finally one resting on your laurels because it is a premium removal spell and chances are your opponents are gonna be having a lot more spirits on their field because they're just gonna be running over all your guys why am i not running earthquake you might ask uh it's because i'm stupid finally for our counter runes, we got the three PTA. Very necessary when you're going first because it's the best out two Astrabbit. We have two Gorgon's Gaze. Why two? Because I forgot to put the third one in. Triple Altar of Stars. This card is very good because you can move something to one of your receive Elestrals to either foretell or search. And being able to put your opponent's guys into defense is really useful when you're trying to survive long enough to get a cow or a luster gun up. And finally, Two Shields of Achilles. Again, protects your dudes when you're being attacked because most of your guys are so weak that you have to bounce everything back to hand for the hopes that you can do an Ascension play later on. Basically protect the cow until you get to the bigger cow or protect your Lumaru until you can get to a Lustragon. Spirit count is exactly what you would expect for a deck of this caliber. Two Zapters. To just in case you have to either re-enchant your Astrabbit to find something, or if for whatever reason your Astrabbit get bou gets bounced. And then we have 12 monkeys. These monkeys, they're having fun in a barrel, let me tell you. Also, uh, I don't know if it's controversial or not, I think Lumaru is my least favorite of these spirits. As for why this deck 
is bad. I've alluded to it a couple times already, but the thought process for this deck is you're gonna have an Apollo out, you'll have a Soul Bell out, and you will foretell five from your deck. One, two, three, four, five. And in that instance, you will hopefully ascend into a Soul Stocks, get massive advantage by having a seven body on the board and, you know, just having an overall good guy to pop stuff with. In reality, if you don't have First Light, this is what your foretells are going to look like. Boop, 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 boop. You're gonna get a bunch of counter runes you can't add to your hand and uh, nothing else. Being able to stack your deck is great, but when you don't have the draw power of other decks or the search power of other decks to reshuffle it, it kind of sucks. The other issue you're going to run into, no matter how hard you try, no matter how much you will it away, you will always have at least one soul stocks in your opening hand and you'll be forced to mulligan. I don't make the rules, that's just how it works. And that's kind of how my tournament run went. I'd get the combo out, I would attempt to raw foretell no soul stocks pass get blown out here you have no interaction because you put it all in your foretell pile and you rest all your hopes on this little baby boy but you know what i can't fault him because he's cute the other thing will happen is you will actually get your soul stocks out you'll feel like a king you'll pop something and then your opponent will say earthquake and then all that work you did the foretelling the ascending will be for naught because you have to go through the whole song dance again find another soul bell find another first light and try to get it off the investment for this cow compared to most other two spirit elestrals is just not worth it. And this is why this is the worst deck in elestrals.